Hello and welcome to some Fit Essentials Basics class today. I'm Shauna, I'll be taking you through. Here's our disclaimer, and then we're gonna start either standing or seated in the chair. You're about to engage in intense physical activity. Proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activity that exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, chronic health conditions, recent chest pain, or that have any other condition that may limit their ability to participate, should consult their physician or healthcare provider before proceeding. All right, folks, here we go. We're gonna come on up. You can start seated if you prefer, but if you're good to come to your feet, go ahead and join me. Take some nice deep breaths. We're gonna pull our shoulders back, hands in front of the chest. We're gonna breathe in. You wanna either reach straight up to overhead or if that doesn't quite feel ready for your shoulders, start to reach out in front and then open through there, bringing them back and down. Very good, palms in front of the chest. Breathe in, reach up a little bit higher as you feel ready, lifting up out of the hips and then relax, opening the arms down to the side. Very good, everyone. One more time, pull the chin in this time and think about lifting up out of your hips and all the way down and relax. Very good. If you're not standing, if you can, go ahead and join us. Next, we're gonna start stepping side to side with a nice gentle arm swing. Try not to hit my chair. Let me move this a little more. Shut all right, so here we go, open the chest. Hey, I just wanna say something. I'm only yeah. gonna be here um uh, for about 15 minutes then i've got to leave and then i'll come back okay Ann. Thanks. that works thank you for letting me know all right we're stepping side to side here open through the shoulders and now we're going to relax those arms down bring your feet in we're going to bounce just a little bit make sure your heels are nice and grounded you can even kind of grip your toes down obviously i'm here barefoot if you don't have it in your shoes that's okay just kind of grip the toes a little bit in your shoes. With that bend in your knees, now we're just gonna to start to move through those hips. Let those arms swing. Feels a little bit funny, but you're okay. You're in the safety of your home here. So just let those arms be heavy. Let them hit against your body and breathe. All right, from here, we're gonna work a little bit of balance. So what I recommend is have something that you can balance against. I'm gonna be holding on to the chair. You could also like hold on to a counter or even stand against the wall. You're gonna start with your left leg. So place your right foot, lift up through your midline, pull the shoulders back, then you're gonna lift your left foot off the ground. Start by pointing that left foot in front of your other foot, and then you're just gonna glide it straight back, squeeze the glute, point the toe behind you. Glide it forward, point in front, glide it back, point behind. As you point behind, we wanna squeeze your behind. Let's go between five and seven more. Back, forward, and back. Keeping the hips nice and square. Forward and back, good job. Point the toe, slide the leg back, and then point behind, good job. Couple more. We wanna avoid arching that low back, so keep the belly button pulled in and straight back. All right, relax your left leg down. Let's go hands on the hips and just nice and gentle circle those hips around. Good job. Good time to smile. Feels a little bit funny anyway to circle your hips around. Make some fun with it. And turn the other way. Swivel around the opposite direction. Fantastic. All right, we're gonna get ready to go back to those glute extensions, we're calling them today, but now you're gonna be on your right leg. So place the left foot down, grip the toes, pull everything up, shoulders back. Slide that right leg forward, point it in front of your opposite foot, and then glide it back behind, point it behind, fire the glute. Slide it forward and point, glide it back, extend through the hip and point between six and eight more, forward, point, back, nice, forward, and straight back, good job, and remember to continue to lift up out of those hips the whole time, pulling strong through your midline, and we're avoiding the arching of the back, one more, and relax, beautiful, this time, instead of circling those hips, we're gonna go hands on the hips and just gently rock them side to side. There you go. Kind of wake up the sides of the hips, all those little stabilizer muscles that we use. 
Fantastic. From here, walk your feet in, toes are pointing straight ahead, hands on the thighs, get a little bend into those knees, pull that chin into the chest, and now we're going to slide down the legs. Only as far as you feel confident, keeping your weight in your legs, midline strong. So kind of engage your core, squeeze your belly. And then when you're ready, you're going to start to make your way back up, tuck your hips under <clears throat> one little bit at a time, standing back. Good job from here. Roll those shoulders up and back. Kind of put the whole arm into it. We want that shoulder blade to be able to slide and glide up and down your rib cage. So we can kind of encourage that here. Avoid that guy from getting stuck. And then we're gonna go, I dream of genie arms, hands on the opposite shoulders, bounce into those legs again, and then just simply rotate. Rotate to one side, back to center, and then making your way to the other side. No forcing of the twist, just nice and gentle. And now you can add some focused breathing. So breathe in when you're straight ahead. As you go into your rotation, blow the air out, exhale. Breathe in back to center and exhale as you turn the other way. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And then shake it out. Awesome job. All right, so you can either stay with what we worked on the first time with the leg forward and back, or if you wanna advance that movement a little bit, we're gonna kind of walk ourselves either away from a table or placing the hands on the seat of a chair. I'm gonna place my hands with a wide handprint. So splay those fingers wide, right underneath the shoulders. From here, I'm gonna step the feet back just a couple feet from my hands. And now I'm gonna start on my left leg. So push through the shoulders, pull your left knee towards that left elbow. And then now you're gonna extend that leg straight back, not going so far that you lift that back arch. So pull it in and straight back, fire the glute. Good job, pull it in, pushing through the arms, squeeze that glute as you extend the leg. In and back, good job. Pull it in and push her back. Couple more. As you extend that leg back behind you, toe down towards the floor. Good job, go ahead and stand up in between sides. We'll just go back to our little hip rock here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite leg. Nice job. All right, hands underneath those shoulders. Set the feet and now right leg this time. Right knee towards the right elbow. Slide that leg straight back. And remember, if you don't feel good in this bent position, you can do what we did that first time where you stay standing. Pull it in and drive it back. Midline strong, low back neutral. Firing the glutes. So the breathing, breathe in as you pull the knee in and then exhale as you extend. One more, in and exhale, toe pointing straight down best you can and relax. Fantastic, come on up. All right, so from here, we're just gonna do a little bit of a stretch in between sides or more mobility than stretching this first time. Elbows up at 90, bring those hands in and together. And now we're simply gonna open the chest, squeeze the shoulders back. Good, close it down and open. Kind of feel like you're playing a little peekaboo with a little two-year-old or something, or maybe that's too old. Maybe like six months, they like to play peekaboo, close it down and open. I don't have children. I have stepchildren. I didn't see them when they were babies. Open and close. Watch the shrug into the ears. We're just trying to strengthen that mid back and open the chest. One more, close and open beautiful shake those out if you have some water nearby let's go ahead just take a moment to pause grab a drink of water temperatures are cooling down in lots of places so it's easy to forget all right after you take a little drink again if that if this didn't feel good for you stay standing do the point and reach like we did in the beginning Otherwise, this will be our last time through, hands underneath those shoulders. Support strong through the shoulders. Don't let yourself drop here. So you're actively pushing down. We're gonna start with that left foot. So place the right foot solid, left knee towards that left elbow, and then extend straight back. Fire your glute, pull it in, 
and extend back. That's two. Upwards of 10 here. Good job, breathe. And I'd rather you move with controlled motion than with rapid fire. So stay strong, moving through that hip. In and back, a few more. In and back, if you need to rest, go for it. Two more if you're with me. Last one. Very good, place that left foot down, bring yourself back up to standing. We're gonna do a behind the back stretch next. So if it's tough to interlace the hands, grab a scarf, grab a TheraBand if you have one, or just interlace the hands behind you. So ribs down, we tend to arch here. Feet about hip width apart, pull those arms straight behind you and lift up. Breathe. Good job. If we get really tight in the chest, so we don't oftentimes open through the chest and then just kind of rotate yourself side to side here. Nice and gentle. And relax. All right, we're gonna go one more time. We gotta balance out the legs, right leg next. So either from standing or from this bent over position, hands underneath the shoulders. Remember to make those nice wide starfish with your fingers and then lifting up through your mid back, pushing down into your support, right knee towards your right elbow, slide that leg back, fire the glute, pull the knee in and extend, squeeze the glute, toes pointing down, in and extend. Good job, upwards of 10 here, that's right about four. Breathe. Good job. Remember to still keep that toe pointing down, avoiding the arch of the low back. And you're probably starting to feel that hip fire on that left leg. I know I am. And bring it down. Fantastic, everybody. All right, that finishes out that. Now we're gonna start to open up the hips. We wanna open the front of the hips. Your right foot's gonna step forward. Left foot's gonna step back. And I have my feet about hip width apart. If you can have both heels planted, okay? I told you left foot back, right? You're gonna take your left hand to the right shoulder, pull that arm down and in, and now we're just gently shifting those hips forward and rotate yourself towards your front leg, should be your right. So I kind of shift back out of it, shift into it, fire the glute and rotate through the torso. Breathe in and exhale into that rotation. Couple more. As you shift those hips forward, we're really trying to wake this muscle up. Go squeeze that backside. Last one. Beautiful. Shake those arms out. Walk the feet in. Same thing, opposite side. Should be your left foot forward, right foot back. Get yourself nice and planted. Hand to the opposite shoulder. So your right, hug it down and in. And then now we go shifting the hips, turning to the front. Rotate out of it. Shift in and over, back, a few more. Breathe in, breathe out. Good job, breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful, shake out those arms. All right, folks, we're gonna go into some balance work intermixed with a side plank, a little bit different than what I said out in the email. I don't know if you all look at that anyway, but just a little bit different variation that we're gonna do here today. So go ahead and follow me. We're gonna start with some balance work. I'm gonna take you upwards of 30 seconds. I'm gonna to try to tell you when we're at 20 as well. And it's gonna be a single leg balance. So you're gonna start on your left leg. I'm gonna be on my right, grip those toes down, pull everything up, squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna lift that, your right leg off the ground. And here we go. We're gonna hold for upwards of 30 seconds. But anytime that like this hip's kicking out or you just feel too wobbly, don't be critical. Just set the foot down for a second. Good job. That's 20 seconds. Gripping the toes, good focus. And three, two, one, there's our 30. Very good. Just kind of shake it out in between sides, sidestep it for a moment. All right, and then when you're ready, 
We're gonna go your right foot, slice that right foot down, lift everything up and two, one, here we go. Bringing the left leg off the ground. <laughs> My balance is always challenged at this point. Good job, that's 15 seconds. Remember not to let that hip kick, so pull up, put the other foot down when you need. That's 20 seconds, shoulders pulled back. The more you squeeze those shoulders together, the more it's gonna help your body stay upright. Two, one, and relax. Fantastic. All righty, folks, from here, we're gonna make our way to an elevated side plank. And if your upper body doesn't feel ready, we're gonna be supporting on one arm. If that feels like it's too much, I want you to do just a two arm plank here, okay? So either way, you're gonna start in a two arm, walking the feet out a little bit, and then I stagger my feet and I set myself in good position. The higher this hand is, so I could go on the side of a couch or even pushing the hand against the wall, the higher the arm is, the easier it's gonna be. Otherwise, here we go. We're gonna hold upwards of 30, but I'm gonna tell you at 15 and 20 best I can. So we're pushing out of the bottom shoulder, not letting that elbow hyperextend. Good job, that's 15. That's 20. Feel free to come on down. If you're shaking quite a bit, please step out of it. And we're just bridging through the side here, using those stabilizers and go ahead and relax. Bring that opposite arm down, walk the feet in, come on up. Good job, we're gonna take a short break. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, if you're not ready for that single arm, that's okay. Just continue to work that strength on the one arm. All right, place both hands down. Walk the feet back as you're comfortable. Or remember, you can just be leaning against the wall. Turn yourself a little bit sideways, lifting up and holding. Nice, strong bridge here. There you go. Breathe. Fantastic, coming up on the first 15 seconds right now. There we go. And that's 20, almost there. 25, two, one, and that's 30. Bring the opposite hand down. If you're on one arm, walk it in, walk it up. All right, folks, that's set one. We're gonna be going back to the balance work in about 25 seconds. So we've got time for a little bit of water. Really want you to use this time as well, not to over drink, but just to gradually keep yourself hydrated. All right, this will be second of three cycles here. So grip the left foot down, pull everything up, shoulders back, two, one, here we go. Balance as needed. Good job. Really pull up, shoulders back. How tall can you be through the spine? We're training that wobble, so don't be critical of yourself. When you feel yourself wobbling quite a bit, that's 20 seconds in. 25. And that's 30, fantastic. Shake it out, just a little sidestep here. <clears throat> with some arm swings. I'm alternating which arm comes on top. I'm really trying to make a point not to slap my hand into my chair because that never feels good. All right, good, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna be doing single leg balance on the opposite side. I'm not gonna say which foot because I think you are, if you were with me, you'd be the opposite one, but I don't think I said on the first time. All right, whenever you're ready, place the opposite foot down, grip those toes. Set yourself well, and here we go. And arms off the side, just help with that counterbalance. It's like being on a tightrope. You ever seen those crazy documentaries, those people walk on wires between two skyscrapers and stuff? Oh, makes me uncomfortable. 15 seconds done. Not fond of heights. Whoa. 20 seconds, feel free to rest there, please. If you're not holding great positions, everything up. That last class really beat out my balance. Two, one, and rest. Awesome job. Getting ready for our side planks. I'm gonna show this arm against the couch this time. It's just the side of a chair here. Again, you can stay in that double arm support 
or if you feel ready for it, pivot yourself to the side, push that arm down, lifting up out of that shoulder. Here we go. Breathe and hold. Little bend in the elbow, not locking it out, but still lifting up out of that shoulder. Fantastic, that's 15 seconds. You're doing great. 20, feel free to rest. Don't go to failure on this. If you're really shaken, please step out of it. 25 and two, one, that's 30. Place the opposite hand down or walk your feet in. Good job. Little break here, and then we're gonna make our way to the other side. Same thing, other arm. We'll go into position in 10 seconds. Place the feet about hip width apart. Start with two arms down. If you wanna to pivot to the side, just slowly walk yourself to the side, pushing through that bottom shoulder, and here we go. Upwards of 30 seconds. Breathe. And great time to smile, just for fun. Doesn't have to be specific. Just be grateful for being here, moving your body, showing up for yourself. That's 20 seconds. Keeping yourself healthy, keeping yourself strong. That's 27 seconds, 28, 29, and 30. Awesome job. Water break. And then we go one more time through, practicing that balance, working on that side strength or that front plank. All right, we're gonna do the balance work first. Pick the side you wanna start on. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna mirror me, it's gonna be your right foot. So I'm gonna grip my left toes down, shoulders pull back, and whenever you're ready, lifting that opposite leg up. And if you're pretty good with this balance and you wanna add a little challenge, you can start to roll that ankle around on the leg that's off the ground. A few times one way. Set it down if you need to. And then a few times the other, we're over 15 seconds in. That's 20. Continue to lift up. I'm starting to get a little bit lax there. So pull it all up and in. Three, two, one, that's 30. Fantastic. Shake the hips out. Just gently rocking side to side. Very good, and then we're gonna go opposite leg. So bring the feet in, grip those toes down, final set of balance work today, shoulders back, and pull that opposite knee up. Here we go. Breathe. And anyone that feels like a superstar with balance, do you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more? Besides the ankle rolls, you can always close your eyes. I'm not gonna do that today. That's 15 seconds in. Remember to pull up through your midline once again, and you can add those ankle rolls if you'd like. That's 25 seconds, <clears throat> two, one, and relax it down. Beautiful. Side planks or front planks. Moving well, everybody. Making good time today. All right, 10 seconds. <clears throat> Place those hands underneath those shoulders, walk the feet back. And either stay there on two arms, or if you feel ready to progress it further, walk it onto the side, pushing that arm down, lifting up. Here we go. Three seconds in. Pull that chin in. Grateful to say my, my neck's feeling a lot better today. What was it? It was after class on Monday. I was on the phone with my mom, and I like had it on my shoulder, and I was doing one of those things you're not supposed to do. That's 20 seconds right there. And uh, I had the ear between my shoulder, the phone between my shoulder and my ear. And when I got off that phone call, oh man, I had the nastiest kink in my neck. Three, two, one, and relax. Walk it in, shake it out. Take a little break if you're on those double arms or we're gonna make our way to the other side. We'll go up in 15 seconds. So I just did a lot of the little gentle stretches that we do, just gradually improving that range of motion again, giving it some time. And we're feeling better today. So that's always a relief. Hands under both shoulders, walk the feet back. And if you're coming onto the side plank, walk them to the side. Last one here today, lifting up out of that shoulder. Breathe and hold. It's always nice when sometimes things are bothering you and you like, they talk to you, they talk to you, you're like, ah, it's still talking to me, still feels stiff. 
And then it's always nice when suddenly you start to forget about it. And you're like, oh, I don't feel that anymore. All right, that's 20 seconds, a little bit more than. Continue to lift, continue to hold, come down when you need. Otherwise, we're all done in three, two, one. Bring that hand down, walk it in. Woo! All right, folks, good work there. Let's get our water bottles again, and then we're gonna do some stretches before we get into this last piece. Okay. All right, so for the stretching, we're gonna stand in a stagger stance again, driving the hip forward. All right, interlace the hands as able. If you can come up to overhead, that's fantastic. And now we're just shifting the hips forward. If this overhead is too much of an arch in your back, go back to your I Dream of Genie arms. And now we're engaging those glutes. We're looking to open that hip flexor back up again. We use that guy to hold that single leg balance. So we wanna lengthen that hip flex flexor back out. Okay, so we're doing this first. We're gonna to go to a quad stretch next, or you can repeat this one. But let's go ahead and switch it around to the other side. Turn your body the other way. Again, either arms up to overhead or I dream of genie shoulders. Shift the hips forward, rotate towards the front. I can probably trust that most people on this call are of age to know the I dream of genie reference. One of my favorites. Used to watch it at my grandma's house growing up. Squeeze those glutes, shifting it forward, opening up that hip flexor, and relax. All right, so you can either go back to the first side and repeat what we just did, opening the hip flexors there, or if you can grab your foot, just bring this chair around for balance, we're gonna go into a quad stretch next. So you can balance here, look to grab your foot, pull that heel towards the glute, or same thing that we just did with that stagger stance. All right, breathing here. Nice deep breath, shoulder back. And relax. Go ahead and switch sides. Pull up to that midline. As able, grab the foot. And here we go. Stretching out that quad. Quad is that muscle on the front of the thigh. Those guys get tight a lot when we're sitting for long periods and whatnot. So we try to keep them loose best we can. Good job staying tall as I crouch forward and relax that down. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna say hello to our hamstrings a little bit more, or maybe for the first time this hour actually. We're gonna start with the feet about hip width apart. Bend into your hips, kind of bounce into the knees just a little bit and feel your heels pushing down into the ground or into your shoes. Arms either over the chest or behind the head. With a slight bend in the knees and hips, now I'm gonna bow forward, sending your hips back. And you wanna think about being long in the spine. So gently send those hips back, bow forward, long spine. And then once you go forward far enough to say hello, just stand tall, squeeze your butt at the top. And again, if you tend to be long in your thigh now, I don't want you to go beyond about 90 degrees. So I don't want you to come way down here, tall chest, long spine and stand. Let's go two to three more. Hinging over, standing tall, and once more. Hinging over and stand tall. Fantastic. From here, we're gonna open up the shoulder a little bit more. So we're in that stagger stance again, and now I'm gonna reach forward and we're just gonna make some nice smooth circles here. I'm gonna come down to my knee so you can see my hand. As I reach forward, palm is facing in towards my body. As I come up to overhead, now I'm turning my hand away so that it faces away from my body. Palm faces in. As I reach up to overhead, rotate your arm so the hand faces out. Very good, couple more. Reach and rotate all the way down. Last time, reach, rotate, all the way through. Beautiful, just kind of shift your weight, turn it around. Other way, I like to go hand on the opposite hip and whenever you're ready. We're gonna go about five times here. And yours might look different than mine. Maybe you can't reach up quite as high right now. That's totally fine. Just meet yourself where you are, do the best you can. Good job. Palm in, 
Rotate away, palm away. Couple more. Reach in and up and back. Good job. Go ahead and smile, reach. Think of something that brings you joy. I liked running the grass as a little girl, having some fun. All right, shake it all out. Fantastic. Next, we're going to warm up a little bit of squatting. All right, so we're going to have the option to squat to the chair and stand. We call that a sit stand. Or um, we're going to do unassisted squats without the chair. Okay, but first to warm up, I really like to hold on to something. So whether it's the chair or you could go over to a doorway and hang on to like the door frame, you can hold on to like the end of the table, whatever feels good. Walk your feet out about hip width apart. Look straight ahead, and then as you're holding on here, send your hips back, push your knees out, come down as far as you can keep your heels planted, all right? It might look different than mine. Just come down, encourage your body, and you got to be the judge as far as what feels good, what doesn't. A lot of times when I work with people that have knee problems, it can feel better as they move into a deeper range with control, okay? Why that is, is that when that knee opens up, when you get into what's called like knee flexion here in the bottom, now that joint, those bones are fully open, like they're all the way flexed open. And now that allows a little bit more lymph tissue and circulation, all that like good healing properties that our body sends into our joints, it allows that stuff to get into those joints. All right, and sometimes we get stiff from a lack of movement. So this gives our body a little bit more movement. All right, so now that you've done those, you can start to squat to a chair if that's your preference. So now I'll reach the arms out, sit back. I try to control down and then you push through your feet and stand, squeezing the glutes. So reach out, send the hips back, control down and stand. That's our sit stand also a version for the squats, all right? So that's gonna be one of the movements that we're getting ready for. We're gonna have like a 10 minute circuit where I'm gonna be moving for almost the whole 10 minutes. You can follow along with me best you can and just make any adjustments you need. If you have any questions as we go, feel free to come on on and ask me. And being that we have a full 10 minutes to work here, I'm gonna be kind of introducing the movements as we go. So, you are gonna want some weights around if you wanna pick up weights, because the other thing I wanna kind of get us prepped for is we're gonna be doing a little bit of some deadlifting. So you can hold a light weight, or if you're experienced with this, you can get a heavier weight. We're gonna go wide base stance. So I've got my feet outside my hips. I don't wanna be your shoulders forward here, shoulders back. And now just very gently, I'm gonna hinge over, sending my hips back, lowering my weight down so that it comes right between my legs and it's almost like I'm trying to set it on the ground between the ankles. If you are someone that you're like, it's really hard for me to even think about touching my toes, don't worry about going all the way down. You can simply hinge over, bring the weight to like the level of the knees. Now I'm holding it in two hands and stand straight up, hinging over and stand. That totally works, okay? So we can use two arms or we can use one arm and go five on one side and then five on the other for approximately 10. If you've been with me for a while, you know that counting is not my strong point when I'm doing these circuits and talking, but we do the best we can. After, in between those squats and the deadlifts, we're gonna be either doing a step jack, okay? Roughly five to 10 on each leg, or we'll do some marching. You can march and punch, or you can hold a little bit of weight when you march as well. All right, folks. With that, 30 seconds till we start. And like I said, just do the best you can. Follow me. If you feel like you're not quite ready to do it, you can always watch the first round and then join us on the second. You can either move with the same tempo as me or once you get the idea, if you wanna move faster, by all means. We're gonna start with the sit to stand first. I'm gonna be unweighted on round one. Feet about hip width apart. Two, one, here we go. Control down and drive through your feet and stand. I'm gonna be doing about 10 reps here, but you can stop at about five, especially if you're newer with this. I'd rather have you do less 
and feel like you can come back next time than do too much and be overly sore. So my feet are pushing into the floor, knees drive out, and I'm trying to control myself down. So sit instead of plop, <laughs> for lack of better words. Sit back, good control, tall chest, drive through your feet and stand. Good job, a few more. We're gonna go to our step jacks or jumping jacks next. Last one. Fantastic. So here we go, stepping to the side. Do about 10 on each leg. Breathing and moving. Good job, that's right about halfway. Fantastic. Ooh, couple more. And last one. Fantastic. All right, there we go. Next, we're going to move into that deadlift position. You can also sub, if you don't have weights here, just practice reaching down for your feet. And you can mimic me as if you were holding weights. Also, water bottles double up quite well for at least a little bit of something or even like a soup can. So I'm gonna hold my water bottle for good measure on this first round. Let's go even two arms, tall chest, send those hips back, push those knees out, bow forward, push through your feet, squeeze the glutes. I'm gonna take you through upwards of 10 here, over and up, shoulders back. So as you come forward, don't let that weight swing out, hold it in close to the body. Remember, you're trying to keep it right about the level of your knees, okay? Taking it down towards the ankles as you feel confident. And really key here, we wanna have a nice flat back. So you wanna think about being long in the spine, tall in the chest. Good job, I'm gonna show it from the side. Hips back, hips back, hips back, knees out. Squeeze that bum as you stand. Let's go about one more here, over and up. Fantastic. We're gonna go into some marching next. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Either keep it straight on or add a little punch to it. As I spit. <laughs> Good thing we're not in person. I don't want to spit on anyone. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and relax. Beautiful job. That took us right about three minutes. I imagine we might move a little bit faster because I'll have less to say going forward. All right, whenever you're ready, you can squat without the chair as you feel confident or without weight. If you're getting into it, I'm gonna go with a little bit of weight around too. So I'm gonna hold it up against my chin. And whenever you're ready, controlling back, push those feet and squeeze your backside. Control down and stand. Good job. Focus and up. Give a little smile every time you stand. Control down. We're alive and well. Back and down and up and tall. Good job. That's right about halfway. Again, if you're just getting into this, go ahead and rest after about five. Build your body up. Control and stand. A couple more. Down and up. So the next rounds, I'm going to go into some squats without the chair, but you're welcome to stay there if that's what feels best for your body. All right, and then arms overhead or join me with seal jacks this time. If it's hard for your shoulders to reach overhead, you can always do these seal jacks anytime that we're doing the normal step jacks, okay? All right, let's get about five more each foot. One, two, two, three, good, four, and last one, five and five. Good job. Relax those arms down. We're going into our deadlift next. I'm gonna show it with kettlebell this time. So I've seen these at the little dollar store. Okay, you can get some weights. I got 10 and 15 pounds here, tall chest. Send those hips back and either one arm if you feel like your weight's fairly light or still hold on with two. If you're gonna do one arm, then we're gonna go about five on each side, controlling it down. Remember, only go to the floor if you have the flexibility 
to hold your back in good position and get all the way down there. If you're someone that has really tight hamstrings, sometimes you'll have a compensation in your low back. So then just don't go quite as far. Roughly five more to go, maybe a little less. And anytime you need a break to grab some water, please give that to yourself. We're gonna go into our marches next. All right, that's at least 10. Fantastic, standing tall and lifting up. Here we go, one, one, two, two. Beautiful, three, three. Hip square and breathe. And I can feel myself, I tend to kind of push that head forward. I don't actually wanna do that. I wanna pull that chin in, keep that head back as I reach my body out. A couple more each side and notice I'm doing that lateral reach or I'm reaching across the body with the arms, but I wanna keep my hips and knees nice and square. Good job. All right, we've got just under four minutes left. You can keep moving if you're ready to go right back into your squats. Otherwise you can follow me for that water break. All right, folks, I'm gonna show unweighted squats without the chair. So feet about hip width apart, stay with what we've been doing if that's what feels best for you. And then sinking back. As you focus on keeping those heels down, also push your toes into the floor. So I like to focus on my big toe because typically your little toes, your smaller toes are gonna follow whatever that big toe's doing. So if I push that big toe, big toe down into the floor or into the bottom of my shoe, that's gonna help activate the arch of the foot, okay? So versus lifting the toes up to keep on the heels, I don't have as much stability into that ankle. So you can grip those guys down. A couple more here. If you're ready to move on, you can start your step jacks. Very good. Or with us. One, one, two, two. Good job. Overhead or we call these seal jacks. Evidently, this is what the seals do. I didn't make up the name. <laughs> Good job. Shoulders back. Avoid that shrug up into the ears. I got no idea what number we're on. Let's just do a couple more each side. All right, very good. We're coming up on our final two minutes of work. Shake out those arms. That was our step jacks. Now we're gonna go into those deadlifts once again. So if you have a weight, you wanna walk up to it. Center yourself right over top. Send the hips back, one arm or two arms. Standing tall, squeeze the backside. Hinging over, knees push out. Straight up and control down, bowing forward. Squeeze and as you stand, think about trying to lengthen up out of your ankles all the way through the top of your head. If you're going single arm, switch arms when you're ready. Over and up, fire the glutes, hinge, couple more, over, straight up, and last one. Beautiful, marching, and if you wanna hold some weight, you can hold it up at your shoulders, you can hold them down at the sides. If I just had one weight, I could hold it counterbalance up at the chest. Here we go, marching, this would replace the punch. Knees high, nice and controlled, hips as square as you can. We're in our final minute here. So if you feel like you've had enough of the squats, just kind of keep yourself moving. You can interlace, inter intermix between the step jacks and the marching. Otherwise, I'm gonna do one more set of squats here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of weight this time, bringing that weight up underneath my chin. Place the feet about hip width apart, eyes straight ahead, and then here we go, sending the hips back, pushing the knees out. And again, if you're like, hey, I've had enough for today, just generally keep moving. We're gonna finish with some cool down stretches. Otherwise, we got 15 seconds. I'm gonna squat all the way to the end. Good focus, chest up, eyes up. Breathe, one or two more, control and stand. Last one if you're with me, down and up, fantastic. All right, that completes our 10 minutes.
Come around to the plush, shake out those arms, shake out those legs. Let's get our water. And then we're gonna come into the chair, do some cool down stretches. Nice work, everybody. Ah, feels good to move. Sends our body some good hormones. Get some endorphins going, increase that blood flow, helps our happiness. All right, we're gonna start feet bent, feet flat, walk the legs out so they're about hip width apart. And I'm just uh, sitting right on the edge of the chair. You can hold onto the handles if you have them or the seat cushion. And we're just gonna gently rock the knees side to side. Just give a little side to side movement through the hips. Very good. From here, we're gonna do a little bit of mobility to open that mid back up once again. We're gonna take the hand behind the head best you can, open that chest. Elbow is gonna to come towards your opposite thigh. Circle over, sit tall, and then I want you to rotate. You can even use your hand on the inner thigh to just give a little bit of leverage, encouraging your body around. And then we're gonna go elbow to the opposite thigh, sit tall and gently rotate. Very good, couple more. Down, up, and rotate. One or two more. So this helps keep our rib cage mobile, which helps release any tension in the low back and the neck. Our ribs are stiff. We tend to be stiff above and below as well, or, or actually what can more commonly happen, we get stiff here, and then we move more in our neck and our low back than we need to. It almost becomes hypermobile. Opposite arm. So we wanna keep the rib cage area moving so that we don't overcompensate above and below. As you're rotating, remember to sit tall up out of your spine and exhale, breathe out, close it down, sit tall, exhale, maybe one more, down and up, fantastic. All right, next we're gonna go into our eagle arms. Bring your arms out to the side. I'm gonna have you mirror me. So your right arm's gonna come under, your left arm's gonna come on top. And then best you can, try to get those hands interlaced. Kind of shimmy yourself around here. One arm's gonna push down while the other one pushes up. And we're simply just looking to target the outer shoulder area here, getting a little bit of stretch through that rotator cuff a bit. And breathe. Nice deep breaths. Fantastic, go ahead and relax it down, shake it out. And then we're gonna go same thing other side. Let's see if I can get this correct. So your right arm on top, your left arm under, interlace those hands, push one down, push the other one up, and just kind of find your happy place there. Breathing, good time to close the eyes. So many of us, even if you're retired, it's easy to spend a lot of time in front of the screen. It allows us to connect to each other from different parts of the world right now, but it's not always ideal for our mind and body. Shake those arms out. All right, best you can, we're gonna go into a tricep stretch next. So start with your right arm, hand at the shoulder. If you need to go across the opposite shoulder, if you can go up to overhead, reach straight up, Bend at the elbow. And now this is where we wanna really be aware. Tall chest, chin in. Opposite arm is gonna grab that elbow. And now you can just hold it here. If you're like, oh, that's hard. That's giving me a stretch. Just hang out there. If you are a little bit more mobile in the upper body, now you can start to add a side bend. So you just very gently tilt your torso to the side, keeping both feet firmly planted. Bending to the side straight up. Every time you come back to this neutral position, lengthen, sitting up tall out of the hips, bend the side, lengthen, and one more time, side bend, and go to release those arms, side. All right, same thing, other side, straight up, chin in, bend your elbow, grab, or again, the replacement would be this guy here, crossed, and holding there, or again, if you feel ready for it, gently bending to the side. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in, hand out. Once more. 
Good job, go ahead and release. All right, if your water is convenient, grab it, a little bit more fluid, and then we're gonna finish with some stretches for our hips. And then one final for the low back. All right, so be patient with yourself. If you're not able to get into the exact positions I do, do the best you can. Start with your right leg pushing into the floor. Sitting tall, pull your left knee toward your left shoulder, kind of grab it onto the leg. You can even use like a rubber band here if you had like those therabands for assist as needed. Sit tall, hug it in, and we're gonna go back to a few ankle rolls, lifting that foot up, twirl it around. Good time to go back to that smile. Studies have shown, switch directions of the ankle rolls if you're doing those. Studies have shown that just simply the act of smiling, so whether we feel like we have a reason to smile or not, just turning your mouth and lips up towards a smile helps to trigger your brain to release those hormones that allow you to feel more joy and happiness. Switch legs, plant the foot down, sit tall, pull it in. Close the eyes if you'd like, and then just smile. Feel like a crazy person, it's okay. <laughs> I always say to my husband, crazy's not always bad. Maybe in our culture, we've kind of created it as such, but hey, it's all context. All right, relax that leg down. Next, we're gonna go into what we call our glute stretch. So we're gonna go back to your first leg, pull it up, and see if you can get that foot to go on the outside of your down leg knee. And then you're gonna just simply pull the leg in. So you're pulling your knee in kind of towards your chest and we're looking to open up this outer hip here. Sit tall and breathe. Feel free to close the eyes. You can go back to that smiling for no reason. And breathe deep. One more breath and release, good job. Same thing, other side, place the foot, pull it up best you can, try to get that foot on the opposite side of that knee, and now sitting tall, pull it around, hug that leg in. Breathe and smile. And what's wild too is that smiling can just kind of help shift that mood. Music is always great too. I know I don't play music on most of these classes here just for, I found that when we were trying to play with music, go ahead and relax, that uh, it was hard to understand, find volume, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna go back to that first foot, pull the foot up and see if now you can start to bring it toward your thigh. If you need to extend the opposite leg out and then just pull it in best you can, sit tall, lean into it, if you can, pull the opposite leg in a little bit more. We're looking to get a little bit deeper into that hip stretch, but we don't want this to be painful, okay? You don't wanna feel like now you're sweating bullets more than any other point of the class. Just encourage the range of motion for your body. Sitting tall, gently bowing forward, or you might be way back here and be like, oh, I'm not leaning forward, that's fine too. One more nice deep breath here. Release, same thing, other side. We're almost done, folks. Thanks for hanging in here with us. Pull that foot up and in. Again, you can have that leg long. You might be way down here, no worries. See where you are and be curious on where you may progress to. It's the intention that we set that will help our body. Encouraging a little bit more range of motion, keeping the hips open. A couple breaths here. and go ahead and release. Fantastic. All right, everybody, very last one. Feet are firmly planted on the ground, hands on the thighs, and then just very gently slide yourself forward. I like to walk the feet out a little bit farther so they're extended, and you're gonna slide forward. You can drop your head down, and just you be the judge of how far forward you wanna reach. We're looking to target the low back here a little bit, so feeling a stretch into the lower back, but you don't want it to be feeling like it's too much, so be your own judge. Breathe. And then when you're ready, you can walk the hands, pushing into your legs, walk your hands back up, back up to the top. All right, let's go ahead and give each other a round of applause. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for showing up for yourself, spending some time with me, whether you're here live or on the recording. Your body says thank you as well.
Stay happy, stay healthy. Look forward to seeing you next time.